ma 15 sola. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Stu Sales 1824 Halifax Classic at the Halifax Curling Club, which is being brought to you by Steel Subaru, Neon Train, and the Stu Sells Realty Team. We are very excited to Benfinita. present to you today a match between Team Constantini and Team Jones featuring Chelsea Carey. Constantini from Italy and Jones from Winnipeg. Welcome, this is gonna be a great game. I am super excited about it. My name is Jane Flynn Burton and I'm gonna be hanging out with you today. in the first end here. Uh, Hammer is determined by a draw to the button and it looks like Jones' team prevailed in that battle and uh, took the hammer. Really curling. All you got, all you got, yep, 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 yep. All right, right back, right back, right back, right back. Keep her going, right back. Okay, good. This is just the third year that the women have competed in the Stu Sells Classic here in Halifax. Last year's champion was Team Caitlin Laws, and Caitlin Laws is not here this year, so we will be crowning a new champion. And the format is that there are 15 women's teams, also 15 men's teams, and they play uh, in pools of five, three pools. The top two team from each pool will emerge to the playoff round. Yep. And uh, hard. in this particular pool, hard, hard, this hard, game hard, hard, right is against it. two teams that are three and zero. Oh, hard, 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 hard. So this Watch game. Yep, 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 yep. We'll determine who's the number one seed in this pool Good. and who is the number two seed in this pool. Important because the top two teams overall emerge uh, straight to the semifinal and don't play in the quarterfinal round, which is taking place tonight at 8 p.m. Halifax time. So I think you're going to see some intensity and some amazing shot making today in this game. This rock being delivered by Emily Zacharias. Pearl, Pearl! Our Lauren! Clean, clean, clean. Roll it away a little. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. Nine, nine, good sweep, Lauren. Keeping it pretty clean this end. There's only one guard in play. Clean. 
Halifax Curling Club ice has been amazing this year. It's really keen and has a big swing to the middle. There is a path out on the outer edges where it will run straight. So the teams are going to be navigating that probably with some uh, nicely controlled weight and using their sweepers to hop over that spot out there to get back into the curl. This feature game is on sheet eight at the Halifax Curling Club, but if you want to see the scores from sheets one, two, and four, I will try to update you through the game, but uh, go to curlingzone.com where everything is being posted. Easy, whoa. Curl, curl. Hard, Lauren, right to it, right to it. To it, right to it, right to it, gotta go. Okay. Carly Burgess 90. just catching the edge of that one. And there's that big curl to the side. So now we have a completely clear house. Chelsea Carey's going to call a draw behind this guard. seconds on that one. What is it? 13 8. Nice little car. Just slips behind the tee. This team from Italy having a great season this year, warming up for the Worlds, and then eventually the Olympics coming to uh, their country in a couple of years. The program has seen some amazing strides. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I just saw Ryan Fry walk in the building, who is uh, working with these teams, and I'm sure we're gonna give them a lot of help to continue to improve and be a force in the world. Okay, that's just a bit more ice than you guys are. A little better than draw to the button? 
Like a foot or two kind of thing? Okay. Just the free. Yeah. I don't think, I think the only way you can chase it is why. Yeah, just free. Here comes Chelsea Carey with her first. Drawing behind this lonely guard, the only guard in play. Five on that. Great shot, and Jones' team sits one. Here comes Constantini down to to attempt to sit right on top of that one that Chelsea Carey just put there. in this one hard. Well, the weight was pretty good. Constantini sits shot now. That might be. A look. I guess you can't make it for two anyway because I'm rolling away. Yeah, I can't count that one. Jerry right. trying to figure really out how to manufacture okay. a deuce out of this. Um, but uh, you just heard her say that in order to execute that, she they would roll away and probably not sit go second go with her first. shooter. So okay. looks like she's going to draw to take her one point in this first end. There's nothing to do anyway because we won't be shot if we knows it. Like, if we get low to kill it, the, yeah, because the back one is full eight foot, and we'll only, there's no, there's no shot. Can I give you the same here, or do you want a little more? Okay. Like, draw the button then, hey? Okay. Here comes the straw. The sweepers are not touching it. And a little bit of a different path. And unfortunately, a bit heavy. Now they're going to take another closer look at that setup over there. And it looks like they've decided a steal of one is the result of the first end.
got a great field of teams here at the uh, Stucells Curling Classic in Halifax. The uh, women's team is stellar, featuring, well, a recent Grand Slam champion that you're watching right now. This team from Italy, we have uh, our reigning world champions, Tiranzoni, are here this uh, this weekend. And I, I think you'll see a lot of these teams leave this club and go right up to Pictou County to compete in the Grand Slam that's taking place there in a couple of weeks. If you're in the Nova Scotia area, I would suggest getting a ticket to that event. It is going to be fantastic. If you're in the Halifax area, you should come on down to the club and watch this live because we've had some amazing curling and some amazing entertainment too. Coming right into the rings with this one. Carrie's just going to ignore that, I think, and put up a corner guard. Line close. Line soon. Take a look. Easy, easy, easy. Line's great. 15-2. Quindi c'è due. I think this whole side's a little faster. Okay. Constantini coming down just to freeze to their one in the forefoot. A little bit of space between them. Oh, Carrie's going to look sure to hit and roll no, behind be that guard that uh, You're up. was just put up by Lauren Lenatine, their last shot. Sweeping this one hard with the knifing technique to try to get some curl out of it. Rolled a little farther than they were hoping, but still seeing in the rings. Mi piace, guardia. Now this one's on that outer edge that we were looking at earlier that just runs straight if you get to the outside of it and I think that's what happened to that one. Still caught enough of it to remove it. Carrie's just going to try to duck behind this guard again. Line close. Hold in. Really running. Sweepers aren't doing much to this one. We've had some weather changes here in Halifax. On the first day of this bond spiel was snowy and, and kind of wet outside, and now we've reverted back to drier, warmer weather. Sometimes that uh, results in some changes to the ice surface. But one thing that hasn't changed is it is keen, and it is sweeper's ice. Thank you. 
Dieci e mezzo, undici, undici. Well, Constantine has decided that she's had enough of this guard, so she's going to remove it. Not just over curled on them. Just missed that one at the back that does look like it's pretty close. It's hard to tell if it's a better or not from the angle that I have. And sometimes the camera tricks you a little bit, so we're just going to let the players decide if that one's a biter or not. to the other side now. Clean. Yep. Yep. Hard. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hit and roll. Good roll. 10-8. Staring too hard at that biter maybe and I missed the call. Sorry about that. Even with all that rotation, that's still curled real hard to that wing. Now Carrie's asking Carly Burgess to put that uh, draw around that guard again. This one hard. hard. Go, 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 go. Leaning on hard, their brooms. Hard, 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 hard. Don't quite okay. get there. Good throw. 16. Line was perfect, just a little bit light. Sweepers are on this right away. No, no. Oh, working it hard to try to get it to that back one. Carrie's going to try to get it by, and it does. Sneaks right by. Burgess with a second attempt at this. Line's close. Boy, something curlers like is to have a second try at the same Line's shot good. they just threw. So I'm sure she's going to make this one pretty good. Room. Line's good. Line's great. Close. You're by. Line's good. Oh, 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 oh. Not too deep. A little bit lower in if you can. Yep, finish, 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 finish. Good. Nope, 14, no mistake. Seven. Great weight and about half covered behind that guard. Non ti piace? Constantini has some options here and she's evaluating which one she likes the best. She could come around it, she could corner freeze to it, she could try to move it. 
and it looks like she's deciding to come around it. Constantini going through the uh, Constantini going through her pre-shot routine. These games are not timed. All these curlers are pretty good with their pace, but um, what you may see a little bit more in, in this event than you do in some of the timed events, a little more time in the hack sometimes, and uh, you'll see maybe a few more team meetings with strategy calls. But everybody's been pretty good. She does get around that rock. Oh, Carrie thinks she can too. move it back just a smidge. I think this is better. I agree. That's what I think. It's a better result. So do we throw yeah. like back line then and try to just like roll it a little because then if I chisel that'll still be shot to have to deal with it maybe out of double okay so we were here for the draw I'm thinking it's close to center line what do you think okay I like that well calling a game with Chelsea Carey at skip is maybe the easiest thing to do because she is so amazing at explaining exactly what she's up to so you heard it from her first now she's going to come down and throw it we only it. have to move it two inches but I'd like to roll away so I'm thinking you throw, we throw back line okay. and just tap it and roll as much as we can towards center. Okay, okay so I can probably give you some more draw for one. <laughs> okay. Here's back line. Sweepers are saying it's a little light, so they're keeping their brooms close. Hard. Trying to save it from the curl. Yep, hard. It's pretty close. Oh, just going to rub off that guard. But just like Chelsea said, with the weight, she rolls in to sit shot. Again, it's a little tricky to see who's sitting second. If I had to guess, I would say it was red. Mm. Ok, va bene. Nose, poi mi mini roll da uno dall'altra. Sì, sì, sì. Sì, mi piace. She's looking to remove this and roll into the pile. Così, sì, mi piace. What I'm sure she's mindful of is not leaving a double for Chelsea to throw with her last.
no, 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 no. Okay. Well, this is when it's important to know who's sitting second. So let's see what Chelsea and Emily say. I think scoring is pretty big. So, yeah. Ten and a half. All right. It sounds to me like they think red is second. Okay. And they're going to hit this for their one. I don't think there's anything for two. The slash even jams, I think, so to pick our one. Yeah. You went crazy, but I don't think that's going to happen again. I think it was just fresh. Yeah, okay. So you like this ice then? Sweeper's knife in this over to get to the nose of it. Right to it, right to it. Perfect. I believe that was one point for Jones' team. Tied up after the second end. As I said earlier, the teams throw a draw to the button to determine who gets hammer each game. There's also a little uh, side competition going on with that. The women uh, total score versus the men total score and each pregame draw to the button is going to earn uh, money for the team's charity and also determine who the, the champion of this contest is this year. Last year, it was the women. So uh, I'm sure the men were concentrating extra hard on their draws to the button, but um, our sponsor, Neon Train, is uh, sponsoring the women's side, and the, the money raised by the women's draws to the button is going to go to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation, and then Team Subaru supporting the men, and the charity that they have chosen is the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So good, uh, good organizations being supported here at this amazing world-class event. That guard is square on the center line, and we are, as everyone else is, playing the no-tick rule here. So it cannot be removed from the center line for the next few rocks. This one's running a little straight again. Right to it. Weight call was nine and a half. Okay, good. Well, got right to the nose. Nine, nine. Feet. Sit. Ah, c'è proprio pezzi di gomma.
No, 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 no. Angie. That line again, caught it on the outside and rolled out, giving Carey an opportunity to come around that center guard. happen late as well so this is the opportunity for the sweepers to really duck it behind that guard it's a great shot Run back, just missed it. Look for Carey to replace this guard. Does that way look better? Anything never needs okay. Higher is good because it's gonna over curl really close. Had a girl five nine. Beautiful guard, no mistake there. Attempt again. Ah. Just missed it. Could hear that in her voice. <laughs> yeah. There's been some fun activities going around um, off the ice as well as on. Today was family day here at the Stu Sales Classic. So there was a lot of fun activities for uh, curling fans of all ages, including face painting, floor curling. We've got some cornhole up there, photo True. booth. Um, our Lauren kitchen is Rock. open, our bar is open. It was just a lot of fun. And then later this uh, afternoon, we're going to have some heart, live heart, music heart. in the patch. And heart, uh, way, after way, that, way, a DJ way, dance. So not all the fun stuff happens on the cold side of the glass. And if you're in the area, you might want to come down and enjoy some of these festivities and meet some of these great curlers. some of those guards and just squeezed their red one in. It's still spinning and Carrie was still sweeping. Slides to the back of the rings. Uh, ten and a half. Carrie's just looking to hit and stick here in her quest to hold Constantini to one this end. Please. 
in. Nice car. I missed it, sorry. Looking for a little roll here and just ended no, no, up hitting it right on the beak. Era lenta e finita, era oh. Used through like 11 too, I sort of think that that's the kind of weight I want. 10 and a half, 11. That's a familiar pre-shot routine of anybody who's been a curling fan for a while, watching Chelsea Carey throw Curl. so many uh, hard, provincial hard. and national events. Right up. Right up to the nose as well. Tini wondering if a hit and roll in front of the corner guard over there is better. Corner rock in the house, I mean. Interesting to see where this one is going to land. She's trying to manufacture a deuce. Looks like some nice controlled sí, weight. Andare, andare. Sí, sí. Bye. Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Rolling right behind this yellow one to sit shot. I think you want to freeze it. Okay, so. And now Carrie's going to take a I was giving you guys switch and turn and come around and freeze to it. There? It's not going to curl a ton until the very end. Like, it's really late. I, I, I feel like that's max that we have to get by. We can carve it at the end if we need to. Okay. Oh, 
Team Jones wanted to give a shout out to their amazing partners, Princess Auto, Trans Canada Brewing, Access Credit Obviously Union, sure Red Rhythm Mutual, like Gold Line Curling, Cutter and Buck, and Joanna Briarly Jewelry. Okay, so um, we cannot thank these team here, sponsors uh, enough for there, right? supporting these curlers in their goals. The it's yeah, very much okay. appreciated by the curlers and also by the fans because then we get to watch them more. Sweepers like the weight. Line's good. Rooms. Line's good. Bring right it to in it. right to the face of this one. Great shot. Very well swept. That was that's what you call a team shot. Great well thrown, well yeah, called, well swept. We talk a lot about funding in Canada, funding of our top curlers, and the, on the team bio, we've we've asked some, just some general questions of each team, and um, Team Constantini's occupation for, for four out of the five of them is a professional curler. They're funded by their, uh, by their country, Italy. Um, so it's an ongoing conversation here in Canada. How do we fund our top athletes and Certainly the team sponsors help to fill the gap that might p possibly be there for the teams that are chasing points and chasing position on the circuit. Okay. Sits there for shot. One. One red. And that's a successful okay, force. Six. Scores now two to one. Constantini. Jones with the hammer okay. next end. He's easy. Sorry, un po' rischi, potevamo gestirla un po' meglio. Vi sto well, speaking of sponsors, which I just was, we want to also thank our partner sponsors for the Stu Cells 1824 Curling Classic. We want to uh, mention Murphy Hospitality Group, Prince Edward Island Brewing Company, Crombie REIT, Scotia Square, and the Curling Store. Um, this incredible event doesn't take place without the support of our volunteers and our curling club staff and our sponsor par partners so thanks to everyone who was involved it's been a fantastic week and i think we're going to be treated to some awesome curling for the next uh next two days Another fun question we asked the teams on their bio sheets was if they have any curling superstitions. And on the ice right now, only one person confessed to having a curling superstition, and that was Chelsea Carey. And that is a woman after my own heart. I have a few of my own, but uh, everyone else says they don't have any superstitions. So 
we'll see if that's, uh, you know, they're just going to put their faith in all the hard work that they put into their games, which obviously is paying off for all the women out there today, but I still like a superstition as well. Can't hurt, right? Every little bit. Running a bit. Still room. There it goes. Still room. 14. Good, Lauren. Se posso giocarlo con l'out, Lin Bo. Cosa ha detto? Ce l'avevi la sua! Secondo me è un po' più lento perché più finish. Ok. We're getting a little bit of scoreboard separation in some of the other games that are out here today on sheet one. Laurie St. George is up four to one at the moment uh, without hammer. And sheet two, uh, Daigle is up.
la treva qua. Questa non la toglie mai. L'idea è, se noi giochiamo pill, la treva arriva qua, lei gioca i terroll, non... magari... Around in the other pools, it looks like we're going to have Tiranzoni and Black emerge from Pool A. Uh, this game, Jones and Constantini, these two teams are going to make it through the playoff round, but this game is determined who's the top of the pool. And then in Pool C, uh, both Grandy and Ha from Korea are both 3-0, uh, and o, so I think we're going to see those two teams emerging from the pool as well, and that'll be our playoff field. The question now is which of these two teams is going to get the... Um, by straight to the semifinals and which of the other teams are going to be playing in the quarters tonight at 8 o'clock. Well executed shot, removing that Jones stone. Constantini now sitting two. Team Jones is looking with Carly Burgess's last of this end to sneak behind those reds. Take there, that's a great shot. I'm new to the Halifax Curling Club myself, but the names Curly Burgess and Lauren Lenentine are certainly well known around here, so I'm sure that those ladies are enjoying their uh, time at home at this bond spiel. And the club is also pretty excited to see our home club team, Christina Black, doing so well in this bond spiel. And on the circuit in general. It's a lot of talent here in Halifax. It's a pretty exciting time to be here. Next year would also be a great time to come here because our uh, club will be having its 200th anniversary. It's the third oldest club in Canada. So there's gonna be some uh, great events around that anniversary and if you ever thought about coming to Curl in Halifax, maybe next year's your year.
Ju, Bu. Ju, eh. Cazzo. Yeah, if I go here, I'm not sure she'll chase it. If she if she was going to, then I like it. But I think we probably have to go there. Yeah. Short's probably tolerance, though. Hey, like it's gonna maybe leave her a slash, but at least then we have a shot for one. If I go here, it's a disaster. Yeah. Okay. I think in a perfect world, you're even. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. All right. As usual, I just let Chelsea Carey describe to you the call. Perfect is even, like biting forefoot. She's but anticipating what her opponent right. so will do I with her I'd next shot play, and then trying to get in the way of that. She makes it, at least I have a shot for one. If it's deep, I might not. So, Okay, so is this not quite as fast as this one that I just threw in? Like three feet? She wanted them even, and they are not quite, but pretty close to perfect. Constantini looking to freeze on this one to prevent Jones from getting a deuce. Or more. Buona occhio linea, eh? Linea spazio! Spazio! Sì, sì! Sì, sì! Oh! Oh! Perfetto! Bravi. This one coming in pretty much exactly as she was hoping. I don't think Carrie's going to be able to remove that. I think that's so easier, she's just it? going to be looking to okay. grab so more of the forefoot than what that red one has. Probably got to go like that. I think it's close. Okay. okay. This is the widest we've been, but I still think I can give you similar weight. Okay. That's where we, we need four, so you gotta be right on the tee. Okay, 
I'm good. Here we go with the last rock of the fourth end. Constantine I'm playing good. George yeah. Jones. <laughs> it's been oh. a long weekend, folks. Mine's good. Just rubbed off that red one. Doesn't look like it made it in one. for second. So it's one point for Team Jones. Tied up again. Così so come giocarla in out, meno che la guardia. Sì. Sì. This is a nice tight game on the other sheets we have on sheet one. I'm just waiting for someone to hang their fourth end. They're playing the fifth. Uh, the posted score right now is four to one for St. George. On sheet two, I think the score is eight to one in favor of Team Daigle playing the fifth end. And on sheet four, we got a two to one game playing the fifth end, Purcell over McDougal. That's the only men's team that's out here today. side we have a little, our returning champion. Yeah. So this is the sixth year of the, the men's event out here and last year the winning team was Team John Good Epping line. and Team John Epping is uh, sitting at three and one in the pool that they're in right now, Pool A, so they'll be advancing to the playoff round looking to defend that title. Okay, so what's happening is they ha they aren't in agreement over, or just not sure, I should say, over whether or not that rock is touching the center line, which would then qualify it for the no tick rule. So the players are looking for some assistance, maybe a measurement tool. This is what you would call a technical timeout. Were we doing times? Come è il top? Non ti porta mai a far blank. Il top fai uno o due, ma mai blank. I'm not sure what the status of this is. I guess we're just going to wait here until one of our draw masters might be able to make it out. Adesso si vede una cagata di tiro. Ora viene. It looks like our ice mater Adam is going to go out there and be the impartial judge of this particular situation. Adam's taking a look from both sides and he's calling it not touching the center line. Thank you, Adam. Indifferente, come vuoi. 
Game back on. Nine and a half. Well, we talked earlier about these teams' uh, favorite female curlers. Let's talk about their male idols. On Team Constantini, Lean. we have mention of Thomas Olsrud, yep, yep, fantastic curler, yep. uh, Nicholas Sedin, and hard. Kevin Coey. So there's some there's hard. some big names. And then uh, Team hard, Jones. Hard, 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 hard. Well, right Chelsea right Carey is named Dan Carey, her father, which is yes. an excellent choice. And it, I think nice. anybody that's ever watched Chelsea Carey knows the, the fondness that she has for her father, and that's fantastic. And Lauren Lenentine was the smart one this time, though, naming Glenn Howard as her male curling idol. So, you know, Emily and Lauren know what's up in terms of uh, calling out their teammates. So good job, girls. Cosa sarà un border? Jones trying to play this in pretty clean. Constantini looking to grab an opportunity to grab Easy. her deuce. Oh, Lauren. Right up. Hard, Lauren, right to it, right to it, right to it, right to it. Hard, 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 hard. Great to it. Okay, 10-3. Nose hit, and I think you're going to see a nose hit back. You like bumper, or you want to throw the same? Seeing if she can flip behind this guard a little bit. A little consultation on the weight. Everybody's got it, and here we go. This one's caught hard. some curl. Curlers, hard, sweepers hard, working hard, it hard. Hard, no roll. Good throw. Rolled a little farther than she wanted, but got rid of the red one, which was really the main point. Sempre <laughs> undici. Questo mi sa che è sotto. Sì, questo è sotto. Mm. 
Dieci e mezzo! Well, for all the conversation we had about that uh, guard, it hasn't moved a bit this entire end. The curlers have been able to navigate around it, no problem. Just a Eleven little bit too much carving on that one. Sweeper's really just coasting this one in. Ten five. Well, I think Chelsea Carey's not too unhappy with the way this end is playing out so far. Her goal being to uh, keep her opponent to one point or steal, I guess, if she can, but uh, most of all, keep her to one point. And by having those red drops open all the time, it makes her pretty easy for her to remove them and not risk a multiple end being taken here. Hard M, anything. Yep, 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 yep. Nice throw car. 10-3. On her end of things, maybe Constantini's hoping to blank this end. So we'll just watch it play out. Probably you need to throw bump and under it. Okay. We're taking like here for ten and a half. So I'm thinking bumper plug there. I think we probably throw bumper now to get under. It's nice, like fast underfoot here, hey? Fast underfoot? Okay. Okay. Bumper. Bumper weight coming down. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Sweeper staying close Whoa. to it because it Girl. does sometimes go on you, but. Not this time. Got right to the nose.
see? Here we go. She's looking for a roll away from that guard to take away opportunity for Chelsea Carey to roll behind it. So this is real precision curling. And also you can see a lot of respect for each other as opponents now, because it easier with a little bit of weight. Here. They, uh, they know how well each yeah. other executes and they're trying their very best to make it as difficult as possible on each other. Ten and a half. We're gonna roll with more weight if we can afford to throw it. Okay, let's make it. Five. Scores is uh, tightened up a little bit on sheet one. Uh, we now have St. George is up four to three, and they are playing the sixth end, and St. George has hammer this end. So that one's come a little closer. Oh. Lauren! And that guard, folks, did not move the entire time. But thanks anyway, Adam, for being the impartial judge. comes Constantini with some weight as a mixed doubles gold medalist. She's no stranger to this throw. Peel and there's your blank. Score is now nine to one for Daigle on sheet two. They're playing the sixth end. And we had a big end on sheet four. Purcell taking four points in the fifth end. The score now is six to one, Purcell over McDougal. That changed things. starting the sixth end on our feature game here between Constantini and Jones at the 1824 Stu Cells Halifax Classic. Shout out once again to our center. main sponsors, Steel Subaru, Neon Train, and Stu Sales Realty okay, Team. Let it, up, let it sit. Line will get there. If you want information about all yeah, of the should. patch events, uh, to participate in a silent auction, to see our LSD scores, all the information you need about this event can be found at HalifaxCurl.com. And live scoring can be found on CurlingZone.com.
looks like we're going to be seeing a few more rocks in play this end than we did last end. We've already got a couple guards set up. And we're Line coming close. around those guards, so. Line's good. Hasn't curled yet. Really running. Yeah, you got to bury it for sure, Em. Get it to center. Yep, 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 yep. Right back, right back, right back, right back, right back, right back, right back. Okay, good. 13 good scoop by Emily Zacharias to bury that rock as much as it possibly could until it stopped. Constantine electing to come around to the one that Jones' team just put behind the center guard. Sweepers are not panicking too much. They, they, they seem to like the weight. This is all about line now. It's pretty good. Here's okay. Chelsea trying to manage the weight and the line at Good the end. same time. It's 14. pretty perfect. Passare il 6. center guard again. Maybe I mentioned mixed doubles. Maybe that's what uh, brought this on. Carrie's looking at the angles and looking to see where where she can place this rock right to make them. If you top this an inch, it's pretty good. Okay. All right. Move that red one just behind the other red one, and then it can't be used to drive it in. Surround them by yellows. Zacharias with the throw. Sweepers indicating it might be a bit Whoa, on the hot side. In. Hard, Lauren. Hard, you're moving it. Go, 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 go. Never off, never off, never off. It's close. Go, 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 go. All right. That's a pretty good shot. 13-4. Two 
Constantini just looking at a low weight hit and roll in front of the yellow that's just above the button. This is one of those shots where end position is more important than removing that rock altogether. So she's not trying to remove it from the ring. She's just trying to make sure that her shooter rolls into the position that she wants it to. So calling this really low weight, giving the sweepers a chance to do their thing. Quite get there. That might have been a bit more weight than backline, which is what I think she was calling. I think we have to, don't we? So, do you like less weight? Uh, I was thinking like hack or bumper. Yeah, let's go bumper. Okay, I like that. Hack. Here comes Carly Burgess with her first of this end. The sixth end of this game between Constantini and Jones. Whoa, whoa, Lauren. Also trying a low weight hit and whoa, roll, whoa. more importantly. M, hard M. Hers is moving a little sooner than oh. Constantini's teammate was. Whoa. Okay. And the skipper indicates it's okay. Constantini is looking to see if she can use this to get a second counter in there. I think what we can agree is that red one is going nowhere. It is surrounded. Calling down the team to have a look at it. As I said earlier, there's no time clocks at this event, so teams can take the time they need to review all their options. Cioè, anche se facciamo questo. Freeze qua. Però questo non... Cioè, questo non prende... Cioè, si blocca. Poi se lo fa lei. Okay. Decision made is to draw to the top four. Maybe save that hit and roll for later. I'm not sure.
15. 15. E 3. Corso? 15. 15. 20. Allora, 15 finita normale. Johnny. Sei, si line. First rock of the Otto. third Marta si. of uh, Team Constantini Otto, coming eh. down. Freeze attempt to the one in the top four Otto. of this big pile of rocks that's in play right now. It's a little heavier than a freeze. Just going to kiss off. So the angles haven't Come changed much. Car. And now Carrie's calling down uh, Carly Burgess, who will be throwing this rock to have a look at the, the angles and the. I think we could sit shot if we want to, but it's pretty scary to throw. Yeah, I think this. I think the one probably just goes to here, but I think it'll go far enough for us to be shot. But, I, but we're not killing the five either. So then we leave them both in there. We're losing this guy. And your shooter's rolling away a little bit. This is a discussion yeah, around I risk actually, and reward. Yeah, actually, because that angle change, I don't mind it. Although, I don't know. Like, this is just going straight into these. But, yeah. I don't mind. I don't want to leave this here. Well, I guess she can't do anything with it now, though, because of this one. But, yeah. Yeah, and you stay right there. We might have something. Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, I agree. Did you guys like that? Uh, but not enough to keep going. I don't mind it. I don't think... I don't think we can do anything bad, really. Just to hear. It's the famous, we can't hurt ourselves. Every time I say that, I do end up hurting myself, so... In a perfect world, the three goes and punches the five a bit, but I'm not sure if it will or not, but... Yeah. I think we can be shot, but I don't think it's any good because no, it, we're leaving the five and the one probably just goes to here, so it just gets a little scary. Okay, let's throw that. Yeah. All right, good discussion. There's probably it, not, the not too many people in the game as good as uh, I'm, I'm seeing the intern. looking ahead a few shots as a person with the experience of Chelsea Carey, so they evaluated their options, trying to figure out what they were leaving for their opposition, what they'd be leaving for themselves. for this hit and roll. Whoa. Whoa. It's one of the shots Constantini looked at herself. Whoa. Last shot. Yep, yep, yep. It's not going to be there anymore. Good. Oh. <laughs> Rocks just kicked a little bit more, still leaving red <laughs> shot, but surrounded by a whole lot of yellow. Vabbè, però noi abbiamo anche questo. E a parte che la 1 secondo me tocca sempre la 1. Quindi sì. Looks like we've had handshakes on Sheik 2 with Team Diggle winning that game. I think that brings them to a total record of okay. two and two, and their opponent with a total record of one and three. They're in the same pool as this pool that Jones and Constantini are in, pool B. So that game was not going to matter much in the standings, but.
And on sheet one, we've had Lori St. George take another two in the sixth end. The score there is now six to three. Playing seven. Dodici e mezzo. Dodici. Dodici e mezzo, dodici. Dodici. Forte, forte. That's a clean Atto. removal. Red still sitting one. Now Chelsea's going to look and see if there's any way to move that guy off the button. This rock scares me a little bit. I don't know, like, I'm tempted to bit, like freeze here, but it's scary. The Although scary thing is that it's not perfect, surrounded by as much yellow as it used to be surrounded by. So now you're seeing I just don't think hitting this does us any good, more reds like that it make there. it look a little more dangerous from Chelsea Carey's eyes. I agree. I, I just don't I don't think we can do anything with it right now. I think we have to play the this load of freeze on there. Okay. This is where I'm giving you got like Lauren on her first one, so I think that's got to be close. Short's probably the tolerance, eh? Okay. Even if we chisel off that, it's okay too. Get another yellow one in there to reduce the opportunity for a multiple for Constantini this end. I don't like that red rock, but there's nowhere good to roll. You just, you're sort of into the corner of ours. Like, I just don't think it's any good. You just freeze to this. Yeah. Yeah. We can chisel off the red to a freeze. We can straight freeze is good. Tolerance is short. But. Yeah, all right. Thanks again, Chelsea, for before, right? yeah. okay. explaining it all to us. Here she goes. Okay, top four. I'm close. I'm good. Room. Room. Really hard. Pretty much exactly what she was hoping for. Just corner freezing to that red one. She was talking about chiseling off it, but it kind of ran out of weight by then. Okay. Yeah, the line was exact. No, ma tocca sempre. Fa now Constantini is looking at what she has to work with. Alternative. This rock that they're looking at was the one that Chelsea said she didn't like, and this is probably why, because they're going to try to see if they can use it to get their shooter into a position behind that guard. No, secondo me no. Ma infatti per quello dico che forse è quasi da giocarla, da muoverla un filo. No, perché per il punto questa non si muove. Non si muove niente. Ok, sì. Un key line qua. Sì. Piuttosto, cioè qua è top che si gioca quel filo lì. Sì. Alla fine anche se rimane alta va bene, che questa sbatte poi. All right, so it's basically a draw, but they know that they have that red one there to uh, redirect a little bit if it happens to maybe be a little heavy or just catch that run out there.
Whoa. Not linea. Not linea. It's no okay. for line. The sweepers are communicating okay. the weight. Occhio. Occhio, si. Si. Here it goes. Si. Si. Ah. Right between. Okay. okay, okay. That was just unfortunate. It, uh, the hole. Either curled too little or too much, depending on how you look at it. Maybe it was a teeny bit heavy, I'm not sure, but. It almost might, it might even touch this, though. That yeah. rock that this Chelsea carried good. said she didn't like two rocks ago is still there, so Maybe she probably still doesn't hole, like it. We? Well, we can sit shot, but I. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the only thing I'm worried about, but I think it always touches this. So then, I, then I'm not sure it goes. Like, I, it. Now they're seeing if there's any way to sit shot by running that one I on know, the I love, I love being shot, but left hand like side looking at the house in. A million. Well, yeah, so if we're worried about this, then I think we have to make a play here. Yeah. Is there any benefit to throwing a little bit more weight and trying to move this one? And then, like, if you go kiss, kiss, and move it just a little bit, that might be ideal. Okay, I don't mind that. Yeah, hair high. I'm thinking it's right, like so a it looks like they're going to go all in to try to like sit shot maybe? after this I don't think I want to throw, throw it hard, hard, because I don't want to move this very far. I need, we need it to stay back here somewhere, right? Bumper? I like bumper. Nose, hair high. Like, we just, actually, higher is better because I would like to spin this into the draw path if nothing else. Yeah. It's actually reasonably thin. Like. I think so. Okay. There with bumper. Well, as predicted, these two teams that are at the top of the pool are throwing everything they got at each other. I think we want to spill the top rock towards the draw path, right? This end has been an end of precision yeah. and angles, and it's... Watch the shooter. Like, it might be better if it's gone. Okay. I'm going to see after this shot where, where we're sitting. Trying to hope it hit it a little more on the high side than that. But she did end up sitting shot. The question is now, what does Constantini have? It's a little hard to tell for all of us where that rock is sitting behind the guard. Okay, it looks like they can see maybe a little more than half of it. A lot more than half of it, so they could try to move this back. Possibly for two. It looks like maybe the one on the back four might be sitting second again. The the camera sometimes tricks, but it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Alternative idea is to throw that thin double. Okay. I think, yeah, I think this is probably...
Backline weight, it's the, it's the call. Sí. Okay. Filino meno. All right, here comes the last rock of this sí. very complicated 14. sixth end between Constantini and Team Jones. Looking to get her point, maybe two. on this one hard. Bye, bye, bye. Oh. Well, sí. It's close. Oh. It is close. Curl it over. Made it. So now they're going to have a look and see which of those very many rocks in the forefoot. So one for sure, right? OK. OK, one for sure we know. Can we take these off? OK. Not those two. Everybody's being very careful All because three. you know if you move a rock before uh, the points have been agreed, then then you lose that point. So everybody knows that as curlers, we stay far clear of this. So two for sure. Two and then for sure. Measure and ones. then she okay. wants to measure those ones. Okay, so we know that Constantine is taking two and they're going to measure to see which of these two rocks is sitting third. In this uh, event, the players do their own measuring. So Emily Zacharias has gone to get the stick. Like yeah. yellow is sitting more close than that red, so the uh, final tally would be two red to bring the score to four to two. My cousin. Here we go into the fourth end with Jones with hammer. Fourth end. Oh boy. Did I mention it's been a long weekend? <laughs> Seventh end. <laughs> Bye. Sí. And these are eight end games, so I'm sure we're going to see uh, just as much ag aggressive play in this end as we did in the last. G. 
girando tantissimo Angie The center guard right to the center line. Oh, oh kind of looks like it shouldn't be in question this time. Thank you, that bad. <laughs> okay. I've got the visa. Grazie. Eh, due. Due più. Okay. Ok, comunque serve due metri in più. Ok. Over there on sheet four. The score is six to three. Purcell over McDougal. They're playing the seventh end as well. Purcell with hammer. And the uh, St. George game is over. Nobody hung the eighth end, but at the end of the seventh end, the score was six to three, St. George. Era meno finita. Si è fermata bene. Tocca. Well, here we go again into the forefoot. We're going to <laughs> see Constantini trying to put some pressure onto Chelsea Carey here. While Chelsea Carey is going to work hard to get her deuce. only two sheets out there now so these players are going to be aware that uh, hard, 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 hard. sometimes when you lose guys, go, go, go. bodies go. in the ice shed it changes the ice conditions slightly here I haven't found that to be too notable but I know they're going to be keeping their watches on every draw and uh, making sure that they know what every path is doing Nove e mezzo. Just 
move in that Why corner not? guard and rolling right over onto uh, in front of their one in the forefoot. But leaving Chelsea Carey an opportunity to do something with like this that? yellow rock in the rings. I was thinking bumper. What else do you see? <laughs> like top to freeze? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that either. Okay. Okay, I like this. All right, just looking to move out of that uh, yellow rock about know, two, three feet. Just move it into the forefoot. Freezing would be great because then it can probably be used later, drive it back onto that red one. Rocks starting to struggle hard, a little bit in the up, slide path. Good. But that Very is nice. perfect. Good sweep. 14 1. That's exactly what she called. Constantini's just throwing up a guard to make it a little harder for Team Jones to access what's going on in the forefoot there. Yeah. Chelsea Carey's not one to shy away from this a run back, high. so. But I'd like to leave the shooter there if we can, like up there. I don't think you need to throw a ton of weight though. Nine and a half. Nine and a half was Whoa. the call. Pretty much a nose. Curl, curl. Hard, Lauren. Hard. Okay. That's fine. Get on the fat side, but okay. clearing away the guard doesn't seem to be uh, okay. a bad result. Constantine just going to replace it. Okay. Definitely want to keep this no. guard high. No. <laughs> Just trying to hold this one straight. They do curl a lot with the lower weight. Okay. Probably okay. a little farther over than they wanted it to, but it is doing its job. So Carrie is just going to go for the double peel. Clear out the center. Clean, whoa, whoa, good, nice car. Well thrown.
some of the teams that we have here this weekend will be coming back to Nova Scotia in uh, March for the world's women in uh, Sydney, Nova Scotia. So there's another opportunity for you to find that private plane. Get yourself out here. This is now the last game out there for this one o'clock draw. Purcell looks here? like they prevailed over McDougal. Okay, okay. So these eight curlers are the last ones standing. So again, keeping an eye on the ice conditions and making sure they're on top of anything that might be changing with the loss of all the other curlers from the, from the shed. Deal. We probably can't throw it hard enough mm -hmm. to really Carrie's now looking to take advantage of this port that was left from probably like that rock not bumper. coming over a little bit. If it came like another two okay. inches, it probably would have made this a little more problematic. But I think we have to try it, don't we? Yeah. 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 She like thinks that she might be able to get in there and get enough of that yellow okay. one to move the red off yeah. of the Even if it doesn't the forefoot. It, like, as long as move it into the open is enough. Okay. Again, not important to remove it from play altogether, just to kick it out of the position that it's in. Okay, good hack. Yeah. Get a little low. Yeah. I think nose is probably ideal because if we could get keep the yellow separated back there, it would be the best case. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and this side is a hair slower too, so. Okay. The weight call was good hack. Curl. Trying to knife it over. Looks like she's doing a good job. I see that center line approaching pretty quickly. Uh, just needed to come up another hair for her. Great car. Great car. Great car. Great car. Great car. Great well, Constantini's talking about getting another one in there. Hoping to leave herself sitting too after this shot. This is her last throw for the end. Chelsea Carey having hammer. Sweepers want to go. 
Deve essere almeno 6. 6 sicuro, ragazze. Allora andate. The sweepers want to go, and so they're going to go. Sì, andate, 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 andate. Uff, just whiskered that yellow one. Right on the T-line. Good judge. I don't think I can... Like, if I do this, I don't think I touch that, though. But I... So I guess I could just draw for one then, although that doesn't look very easy either. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could try it. So just a reminder, these two it. teams are both 3-0 and in Pool B. That's the only shot for more than so one. So I think it just the significance of this so game is two, who will finish top of the pool and have the uh, opportunity to go straight to the semifinal. Mm, I think it goes across the top. If, if there was no guard here, if I could hit it here, maybe. But I think coming into that, it always goes across it. Well, it, there's just not an easy shot for one. <laughs> like, the, dra the draw for one's not no picnic, that's so, all. Yeah. So it's there, for sure. If you, if you just, like, feather clip this, I think you get two. Because I think this goes straight on to you. And then what's, in the pl what's uh, on the line once you get into the playoffs is that there is a total purse of $51,000 at this bonds field, but easy, it is so split in two. 25.5 going to the men's yeah. side, 25.5 going to the women's. <laughs> Like a like a quarter rock, like it has to barely touch this yeah. for it to go. Yeah. I think, yeah. Okay, it's thin. Uh, quarter's too thin, but I think a third might be too thick. Third close, probably. Okay, I gotta throw pretty hard, I think, just to make sure we kill red. Uh, I don't think this will move really at all. Pretty much right where I throw it. Yesterday we had a conversation, myself and our club president Hugh Avery, about corner guards, and uh, we asked the viewers if you were Team Hugh or Team Jane in terms of liking corner guards. I am a corner guard liker, and this one is now going to come into use. in okay 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 i think it got caught in that outside ridge yeah fortunately it was yeah. no contact and a steal of two and that looks like it's going to be handshakes so the final score will be six to two constantini over jones what a game that was those of you joining me on youtube thanks for so much for doing so um thanks for joining us at the stew cells 1824 Halifax Classic presented to you by Steel Subaru, Neon Train, and Stu Sells Realty Team. The next game is scheduled to start at 4.30. However, we do have to give Adam and his ice crew uh, a little bit of time to do their magic. So if, we, if we're a little tad late, please forgive us. But do tune in. It'll be the last game of regular pool play before the quarterfinals, which will be tonight at 8 o'clock. See you then. Hey guys, welcome to the Stu Cells team's brand new listing. So go to stucells.ca, see all the photos, the videos, and give me Stu a call for a personal tour.